happy and healthy hello viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, mission video marathon. This mission is tied directly to the photo opportunity mission that CJ went on with Cesar. It also brings back Woozy Moo, whom CJ met in a racing mission of the same title. So now this is where things begin to tie together for CJ in San Fierro, and he starts making more money. This mission actually introduces a character whom will have certain um, opportunities for CJ for a little bit because CJ is going to be earning this man's confidence. So let's get on with this mission. <laughs> That's crazy, man. What are you looking at exactly? Hey, God, hey man, you get the flicks developed. What's up, woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. And what exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey. Then he my way in. How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gant Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. Like all Grand Theft Auto missions, CJ is going to have to drive. So I'm going to just immediately cut over to where CJ enters Jizzy's Club. See, baby, I got everything. Mink sheets, mink coats, mink curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with, to work for, a guy like Jizzy B? Well, well now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. My fucker killed two last week. I want you. Go find out. No problem. You my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up! Mr. C to the J! See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. Windmill. Hey, can you body pump? Come on, Laszlo. 
Oy, what a strong bitch, oh. Ever had half and half with a social like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your Ruka won't. I'm listening, honest. I'm no slut, but I need the feria. Uh-huh, real interesting. Whatever, puto. Okay, after that uh, interesting conversation with the um, working lady, you become Jizzy's errand boy for this mission. And you gotta take down some people. This is actually kind of a fun mission. There's some timing and other things involved. Um, I'll go through each step once I drop off this uh, working girl at her hotel. Jizzy calls and gives you or CJ instructions on what to do next. Later, Esse. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Church, got a little errand for you to run before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretender. Now, this part is timed, and you do have plenty of time to get over to Hashbury to waste the uh, rival. And in this case, I'm going to make a nice statement about the fact that it does put in checkpoint saves. So if you screw up, well, guess what? you can just start back at the checkpoint. Now this is also a part where I'm going to um, say, gee, if you had done all the tags from the tagging mission, your character will have some, or CJ will have some powerful weapons. You don't want to go down the tunnel there, so I'm going to let this play out now and you can see for yourself. Here comes my player, now you in real trouble. Swear you have no business touching me. Come on, yet? Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there and nose around. Find out what's going on. This part is sort of a timed mission. You see that HD up at the top? Well, that is the health of Jizzy's girl. And you gotta get to the area where she's getting beat up before that health goes down to nothing. Now, don't worry about scratching Jizzy's car because near the end of this mission, you're gonna find out, uh, yeah, you put a few dings in it and you scratch it up, ain't gonna be a big deal because, well, yeah, I'll just let it go. Issues? Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. You the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hole. You get your ass back to the hotel, and you make an example out of all of them. Well, you heard Jizzy, 
and um, he, apparently that woman you dropped off downtown at that hotel, well, yeah, Jizzy doesn't want her to stop working for him, which becomes kind of ironic at the end of this part of the mission, which I'm going to fast forward to get to that point, so to let things play out after that. Sent me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments so I may better gaze upon thy corruption. Driver! Get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. Okay, you can try and shoot at the preacher and his... Um, protection they don't slow down or stop so it's awful hard if you have a rocket launcher or grenade and they will recognize you you can keep ramming them shooting at them but to be honest with you just stay on their tail and don't get too out of the you know don't let them get too far ahead or um, don't get too badly damaged. Again, just stick with them. And like I said, you can shoot at them and try and ram them. But again, just just stick with them. Try and get ahead. Try and do whatever. You want to eliminate them sort of on the road. But the reality is um, just following them and sticking with them will eventually get you to an end because I'm not going to foreshadow. Again, just kind of stick with them. Don't lose them. And I'm going to let the rest of this kind of play out. As you just saw, the limo flips over. Now you can just take them down with some machine gun fire. Head to attend into the hall. Suspect will have to be on foot. Ah, come on! Time's up! Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, see, they used to play his right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. Now, unfortunately, the wanted level does not clear. So you can try and drive back to uh, where CJ has his garage and go to the save icon which wipes out any form of wanted level in this game and it's kind of hard to do that but 
also you wind up if you uh find one of those pimp mobile type cars you can do the pimping missions which is another side mission i mean not a big deal if you do it and you get some money and some reward for doing that um I'm going to try and get the wanted level down and get CJ back to his garage. But the end of the mission is happened. So, as always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Um, stop by my website. Uh, every Sunday, I have a webcomic, Teen, Sp Teen Spider Adventures. Uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel liking and subscribing or whatever you want to do but please subscribe i can try and make some money on this as always thanks for stopping by